Greg, what is the addition of Larry Floyd Ross uh, Definitely another dude who could like really push the pocket, rush off the edge, and I feel like it's only going to make our group uh, even better than it was last year. Mm -hmm. How does that back and forth kind of go for you guys of uh, getting to know y'all, but you picking out his advice? Uh, it's been chill. The same way like DQ and Tim said on all them boys came in last year. It just It's like another face to our group. We got a real tight group, so we kind of just all bounce ideas off of each other, and we get along real well. Who's louder from the sideline right now? Is it Vaughn or Jordan Phillips? Um... Uh, they're, uh, they're both they're both out there. They're both out there engaged, locked in, and like in the meetings, like they give their feedback and stuff. So yeah, both of them. Dion talked about helping you maybe in some technique stuff when you guys are going up against each other. How, how often does stuff like that happen? That maybe he gives you some tips or things that you guys go back and forth on. Who Dion? Dion. Dawkins. Dawkins. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We be we be out there competing, and it's it's kind of like a. It's just like, a, oh, you got me there, and you you got me there. It's not really like a coaching thing, but it's like a just a competitive thing, and like us just reflecting on like the rep, who won the rep, and it's, yeah, it's fun though. It's a lot of fun. You were talking about one instance where you know you maybe came in a little bit low, and he mentioned that mm -hmm. since Vaughn got here, some guys like to try to like maybe bend a little bit more, like how veteran tackles take advantage of that in this league. Is it nice having a veteran tackle that you can kind of work against to yeah. be able to kind of try some things out? No, nah, definitely. And going against a guy like him that's like in the Pro Bowl year after year, it's definitely a, a great challenge. So I always look forward to going against Dion. And also, he's just a, he's just a great teammate, great person. So, like, he's going to always not try to make just himself better, but also try to make uh, the person across from him better, too. How much is that as you enter this season now, and we all know about the expectations and the need for – the team in general to do a better job of getting the quarterbacks. How much more prepared do you feel and maybe uh, in a position to use that experience that you're talking about? More prepared for sure. You know, I feel like I get better with every rep and uh, with every game. So I feel like I can only go up from uh, how I played last year. You talk, about that. you talk about just like feeling more comfortable, you know, going into this season. Yeah. I know we talked to you last year about, you know, it wasn't the first time you were doing everything in terms of going to camp. Mm -hmm. What is your comfort level? Yeah, it's real high, honestly. You know, I know the playbook real well. Uh, we got the most of our group is back from last year, so it's just really about going out there and uh, doing it. And you know, I'd rather go out there and do it than like just talk about it. You know. How do goals work? How do goals work? Do you do you set like statistical goals? Does the team talk to you about that, or how do mm -hmm. you? look at that for a season uh well personally i know i want to get like as many sacks as possible like what d lineman doesn't but like honestly i kind of just i'm more like process driven so i know if i'm doing everything i can to take care of my body and to practice hard and work on my hands and work on my skills in the off season i know that like the results will follow so i don't really get caught up in the numbers because you could have a great game and not get a sack or vice versa you could have a not so great game and get two sacks because you, you just got kind of lucky on those two rushes or whatever and they were kind of layups so i feel like for me it's just going out there it's about going out there and having that dominating mindset and trying to win every single rush no matter what and not really putting like numbers because i feel like if you set goals you could also put caps and limits and limit yourself and then let's say you hit that goal it's like all right now now I can relax but like I don't want that to be my mindset there have been a couple of reps especially maybe a few practices ago where you slid inside mm -hmm. a little bit what's yeah. the challenge to do doing that um I wouldn't say I wouldn't say it's a challenge. I would just say it's kind of just a little different, you know, like things happen a little faster inside. You're a step closer to the quarterback, you're a gap down. So you got to be a little quicker with your eyes and hands. But uh, I did it a lot in college, college, and I also did it last year a little bit too. So it's fun. I like it, and I feel like it adds uh, value to my game, being able to go inside or outside and just be a versatile, versatile player. Eric well, Washington told us a few days ago that he thought you looked both faster and stronger this camp. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling right now? Like, what feels different for you? Uh, I'm feeling great. Uh, honestly, not too much feels different, you know. But like I said, like I know the scheme. Like there's, there's really no surprises here. It's just about going out there and just executing and doing it and getting to the quarterback. He said, you know, like the playbook and the scheme and all that. But with Sean taking over as defensive coordinator, has there been anything like different for you personally? Like uh, anything you've noticed in terms of what you need to pick up on, or mm -hmm. just hearing Sean, you know, in charge? Mm -hmm. Like what's been the change there? Having Coach McDermott in uh, meetings has been real cool, and he's real like detail oriented. So it's really just been that, but it's not a, it's not a huge like shift to the defense. You said you like playing inside a little bit more. Yeah, what, I do. What do you like about it, and then what, what part of your game do you think can be most effective going from that point of view? 
I feel like I match up well on guard sometimes. That's what I like about it. And I feel like if you understand how rushing works inside, it can make you a better rusher outside as well and vice versa. So I feel like that's the biggest thing for me. When you have that comfort level with the playbook routine and things like that, mm -hmm. is there anything you've found you've been able to focus on more, put more attention on when you're not worrying about kind of the minutia, things like that? Um, Probably just like working the edge, you know, just in general, because I, I do a lot of power. I feel like I also like to, run, like to run games and stuff like that. So just being able to do every single thing, whether it's bending the edge, uh, going speed to power, or working on, on a text or exit game. How's your break? How's your overall technique coming along? It's, it's coming along well. Are you able to get, make adjustments to from, from, from when you first came in the league? Yeah, definitely. I'm a way different player than I was when I first got into the league in 21. Uh, watch Puna Ford's pick six. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That on the iPad or on <laughs> yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, I mean, um, Puna's one of those guys. He came in day one. He really just like integrated real well into our group, and is obviously showing out there on the field. Is that just crazy to see that kind of athleticism from someone mm -hmm. who plays on the inside at that size? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it is, it is, and like he's like he's real hard to move down there, but also he's just a smart. Uh, instinctual player he's played I think this is like year six for him or something like that so he's one of those guys he knows how he knows how it goes and he's gonna help us a lot we hear how often that he's very quiet and I know it's probably a little different for you guys but yeah. does he talk a little bit more after that play or is nah not really he's still he's still quiet yeah